seems harder and harder to ignore that the echoes of replacement theory and other racially motivated views are increasingly coming out into the open. In a few years, we're going to be a majority brown country. White people will be the majority in the country anymore. This will be the first generation ever in American history uh, in which whites will be a minority of the generation at some point. As of 2007, every year babies being born in this country, whites now are the minority. The demographics change as white people become the minority in the country, which is coming. The white population is declining for the first time in history in America, while the number of multiracial Americans have more than doubled. So we live in a country where the demographics are becoming less white. Uh, correct. Whites will, will not be the majority. I mean, that's, it's an exciting transformation of the country. It's an exciting evolution uh, and, you know, progress of our country in many different ways. The white population is declining. It, it was always on the upswing. So that speaks to the beautiful diversity of America. It speaks to um, uh, how the, that population, will, the demographics, will weigh in politically. An unrelenting stream of immigration. Non-stop. Non-stop. Folks like me who were Caucasian of European descent, for the first time in 2017, will be in an absolute minority in the United States of America. Absolute minority. Fewer than 50% of the people in America, from then and on, will be white European stock. That's not a bad thing. Diversity is now, in some parts of Europe, seen as a threat. Diversity comes with challenges. But diversity is humanity's destiny. There is not going to be, even in the remotest places of this planet, a nation that will not see diversity in its future. That's where humanity is heading. And those politicians trying to sell to their electorates a society that is exclusively composed of people from one culture are trying to portray a future based on a past that never existed. Generational thing? Oh, absolutely. I have met maybe only one or two young racists that were more racist than their parents. Almost 100% of the time, they're less racist than their parents. So part of this greater America that we see on the horizon and that is arriving daily is just simply waiting for old white guys like me to die off. We're going to have a new America. And you're okay saying that? Oh, absolutely. With a smile? Oh, yeah. <laughs> sure. Everybody's going to be better off when my generation is gone. Everybody's going to be better off. That there is, we immediately surge to the border. All those people are seeking asylum. They deserve to be heard. That's who we are. We're a nation that says if you want to flee and you're fleeing oppression, you should come. As Africa's population doubles, a lot of them, whatever the circumstances, will be coming to Europe as economic migrants or as refugees, that they will be coming, many of them. And that is a good thing, because we will be senile, we will be senescent demographically. We will need their youthful energy to do stuff. This is what the economic statistics tell you, the demographic data demands, you know, demography's destiny. Europe and Africa are going to have a very close 21st century. White British population has decreased by 600,000, while the minority population has increased by 1.2 million. So, yes lads, we're winning. Children from white families in Birmingham are set to become a minority group for the first time when this year's census is collected in March. The latest census suggests white British born are now in a minority. The census Bureau says white will be a minority. The UK is never going to be white again. It's just not going to happen. People can wish it, but it's not realistic. Europe is not going to be the monolithic uh, uh, societies that they once were in the last century. Jews are going to be at the center of that. It's a huge transformation for Europe to make. They are now going into a multicultural mode, and Jews will be resented because of our leading role. But without that leading role and without that transformation, Europe will not survive.